Zintan Nissan Titan. Subject of the day, black trim restoration. Not all black trim is created equal. Here we have textured porous black trim side mirrors. We've got the porous textured door handles. We have a rubberized type of weather stripping for the windows. It goes on and on with this truck. We've got the bed liner cap here. Textured, porous, all back here. Also the bumper cap. But wait for it, folks. We have these fender flares. And you can see here that I have begun to polish them. And you think, wait, you can't polish black trim. It would stain it. Well, this plastic black trim, once again, endless formulations, endless configurations. This is a very smooth, and I know through experience that this is molded in black. It's not painted. So because it's so smooth, I can actually polish it with a traditional polish. I'm working one-handed today. My uh, assistant has left. She had a, another engagement. So this is my cloth that I started doing by hand. And then it's just like, duh, why not bust out the buffer and cut to the chase? So since I'm doing it one-handed, I'm gonna do this in stages. And here are my tools. I've got my Rupes little Bigfoot or whatever they call it. I've got my Shoal Concepts spider pad. This is a firm, a medium to firm pad. And then I'm gonna go with the Shoal S3 Gold Double X High Performance Compound. It is what's considered a heavy, an extra heavy cut. Because I want some extra heavy cutting on this. And because I know this is molded in plastic, I am not overly concerned with burning edges as in taking the paint off the edge. Does not mean I'm gonna get, it does not mean I'm going to become reckless with it. I just don't have to be overly concerned by it. Here I've seasoned my pad, which actually isn't seasoned. Well, it is, because I've already used it. I just want to show you how much I use. And I'm going to be doing this one-handed. video it's kind of like back in the day before they had HD and they showed a helicopter uh, blade spinning and almost looks like it's going backwards this moves fast enough where the video is not able to capture the true essence of it just know as a footnote I have that on a speed setting of two and a half if you happen to have one of these which is what's it called oh the mini Bigfoot so back to my cloth I'm gonna rub this off that shine compared to zero shine down here now you'll notice a line of demarcation there he had a fender flat flare whatever you want to call it that used to be bolted on right there so that's why you've got this line here this has been covered for most of the trucks life this has been completely exposed so we can see this nicely polished fender flare and this side sits in the Sun more often so this side has more problems with it because I have to actually this side I started doing by hand and you can see some streaking I'm gonna come back with a buffer on this one and hit this what I will have to do is finesse this little lip here by hand because there's no way I'm gonna be able to get the buffer in that but trade-offs so once again all black trim is not created equal if you used a traditional trim restore product on this, it would be superficial. It would not last because this material is not truly porous enough for trim restores to actually uh, embed itself into it and permeate into this material to make it lasting. This is a lasting solution. 
so long as Johnny Customer accepts that he needs to maintain it moving forward, just like we need to maintain the paint by care and maintenance. And as always, you can check the links below, the show more box. It'll take you to further specifics at my website. All right, boys and girls, hope you learned something.